Hi there, welcome back to Bot Sailor. This is the first video in a three part series about Bot Sailor's AI Assistant. In this video, I will focus on how you can train your AI Assistant using FAQs, files, and URLs. Well, what is an AI Assistant? An AI Assistant is a special feature of Bot Sailor that uses artificial intelligence to understand customers' questions and replies according to the questions based on training data that you have provided. AI Assistant can be used for a variety of purposes, such as providing information, gathering potential leads, collecting customer data, and even automating the selling process. So, without further ado, let's get started. Go to Bot Seller Dashboard and scroll down to the Settings option from the Management section. Then go to the AI Assistant Campaign setting. Here you can see all the AI campaigns name that you have already created. Next, here you can see there's three action buttons over here. This one is for adding training data using FAQ, files, and URL. This one is for initial AI prompt, and this one's for deleting any existing AI campaign. I'm going to delete this one over here and create a new AI campaign right now. So click on the new button, set the campaign name, which is chatbot. Now there will be a default prompt already given over here. You can modify it, or you can write a new prompt according to your needs. For this video, I'm just going to modify it a bit. I'm going to change this from you are our support agent part to you are a Xeron IT support agent and save it. Now let's move on to the main part. Click on this add data button to train your AI. As you can see, there's three more options to train your AI using FAQ, URL and files. First, let's train our AI with FAQs. To train your AI, the best practice is to write all details about your business in a notepad first. Later, we will use this data to train our AI. In this way, you get to keep all your data in an organized way. In my case, I have written all the details about my business, which is Zeron IT. It's an online software company. And also, I have made a few FAQ questions and saved it in a doc file. Just copy the details all together and paste it over here in the FAQ1 input field. You can also add all the FAQs in one input field or you can add multiple FAQ questions and set it over here one by one. Just click on this add FAQ button to add more input fields. But I should warn you, if you put all your business information in one FAQ input field, then it will cost more AI tokens for you. But you will get better AI response in this way. And if you want to save AI token, then you should go for the multiple short FAQ questions. Let me show you how. We just need to go to contents file and copy each FAQ and paste it here in the input field. The same way we can do another one and another one. In this way, you can add as many FAQs as you want. After adding all the FAQs, you can save the campaign and you are good to go. Now, if you wish to try out other ways to train your AI or in case you want to train your AI about your business directly from your website, then just clear out all this campaign from the FAQ section. Click on this URL option in the middle. Click on the new option to create a training with URL campaign. Now provide your website URL. So I'm just gonna copy my website link, which is this one and paste it in the input field. Over here, you can choose whether the AI should learn from all the contents of your web page or just a specific section. You can do that from this fetch content configuration. You also have the option to exclude certain content from the AI's analysis from the remove content configuration section. For an example, in the fetch content configuration section, let's select ID as a selected type. Now go to the web page and open source code. Press Ctrl plus F to open the search bar and search by ID. This will highlight all the IDs in your source code, which can help you choose your desired ID of your content. Let's try again with class as a selected type. In the search bar, type class. If you leave the selected name blank, the AI will gather data from all the classes of your page, I mean the source code. And if you specify a class name, the AI will only use the content within the, that specific class for training purpose. In this same way, in the room content configuration section, if you select a class as a selector type and type any specific class name, then the AI will not use the content data for training itself. Up next, you can see there's two more options, generate raw response, and generate FAQ. If you select the generate raw response option, it will generate a comprehensive and detailed answer in a text box. And if you click on generate FAQ option, it will generate multiple FAQs according to your 
web page content so let's just click on generate raw response to show you what exactly it does it may take some time to generate a response so please wait patiently meanwhile earlier i forgot to show you that you can also add multiple remove selectors if you need multiple content from your web page that you don't want your ai to learn from so you can just use this option if necessary to use that great our response is ready let's check is if everything is okay or not okay now let me show you what happens when you click on generate faq option so as you can see it generated multiple text boxes containing FAQs. I will regenerate the raw response again. I prefer it in this way and save the campaign because it gives more precise AI response to my customers. So now our AI assistant will be able to answer any questions from your customers regarding all the contents that your homepage has. In this same way, we can add more web pages, FAQs or raw responses to our to train our AI. Let's go back to our website's product page and train our AI about our product page so that if any customer asks about uh, my product, it can answer everything properly by itself, making it fully automated. Then again, let's train our AI about some of my specific products using the URL so that my AI knowledge base can be more fulfilled and it can provide more precise responses to my customers. This way you can train your AI with as many web pages as you want using the URL campaign trainer. Finally, let's move on to training campaign with files section. So click on this files option and then click on the new button to create a new training AI with files campaign. Now you have to upload your files where you have note down all your business details the file should be in doc.txt or in pdf format click on the upload button to upload your files locally from your computer or you can upload your files online and paste that files link in this input box for me i'm just gonna upload from my computer actually and i'm going to choose a pdf file name content for faq mm, this is the one now, just like before, you can either generate raw response or just FAQ. I'm going to go for the raw response again and save it. Since I have already trained my AI with the data from my website, I'm going to delete this campaign because it's a good practice not to train your AI with the same data from multiple sources. I just wanted to show you how you can train your AI with the files. So I'm just going to delete this now. So that's all about it in this video. In the next video, I'm going to explain what intent detection is and how to use it and finally make a fully functioning chatbot that uses AI assistant for customer support. So stay tuned with bot seller and don't miss a video.